While this is drying, I'm going to work on, I'm going to move that one out of the way and I'm going to work on my other painting. Um, again, clean your paint brushes between paints. If you end up with a dirty paint, um, you can get a clean paint, like clean water and like wipe off the top with some paper towels. It's kind of up to you. Um, you can do some mixing on the paper. So if I work quickly enough while it's wet, I can add other colors in on the paper while I'm working. So if I wanted this to have like a little bit of purple, while it's wet, it'll blend. If you don't want it to blend, don't do it while it's wet. Wait till it's dry. Um, that's kind of the difference. If you want things to blend, it needs to be wet. If you don't want things to blend, it needs to be dry. And so this is the, I'm just putting some colors in. Again, I put some pencil lines down. You don't have to put pencil lines down to draw or paint especially because knowing that sometimes if you sketch dark, or some of those pencil lines might just be there for good. Um, I just need help remembering what I'm doing because sometimes I get distracted. Imagine that. All right, this painting needs to dry. So I'm gonna go back to my other painting. So there's this one here and I'm gonna switch it. And now my sky is dry enough that I'm gonna put my sun in. Um, I know it's a little cheesy, I'm okay with cheesy um, and because it's dry some of that will sit on top and I can probably do my roof and maybe I want a red roof because why not why not have a red roof on my house all right so this is kind of like the back and forth my other one's still wet um, if you like hold these up like some of these the water like there's that purple moving so you want to be kind of careful. Don't just like walk up and be like, I want to show you my artwork and hold it, hold it flat. Don't like take it vertically and then have your, your stuff fall off. So um, I think that my, I don't necessarily want green, green grass, but that's one of those things where I'm going to not be too worried if it runs into my uh, hill. I'm going to put some brown into my grass. I just, it looks more realistic for me. <clears throat> if I wanted my grass to look a little bit springy, I'd add some yellow. So you can do different things with your grass or your greens like that. 